the Illuminati taking over the world to create a new world order. The reptilian elite shape-shifting reptiles which include the Queen of England. The US government is holding aliens in Area 51. The research facility in Alaska, known as HARP, is actually a mind control facility. The moon landing was staged and faked. And the flat earth theory, well, the name says it all, the earth's flat. Those are just a few conspiracies that people believe in. There are thousands more out there. If you believe in any of the conspiracy theories that I just mentioned, this video isn't about me telling you that you're wrong. You're crazy to believe in them or me trying to change your mind. I believe in some conspiracy theories myself. In this video, we are going to be taking a look at why people believe in conspiracy theories in the first place and the psychology behind them. It doesn't matter what conspiracy theory you or I believe in. Let's take a deeper look into why we choose to believe them in the first place. Around half of Americans believe in at least one conspiracy theory. That's about 164 million people. But why do so many people believe in them? People actually believe in conspiracy theories for a variety of reasons. Some people don't know how to explain random events and they want to have an answer as to what happened. If there's a conspiracy theory out there that is the only explanation as to what has happened, they might believe in it. Some people want to have certainty in their lives. Like before, if they don't have an answer as to what has happened or society doesn't have the answers as to what has happened, then it upsets certain people because they need certainty in their lives. And conspiracy theories can give them that feeling of certainty. Some people want to feel special or unique and conspiracy theories make them feel that way. It makes them feel special and unique because they feel they are part of something, part of a movement, if you wish that others may not even know about. And they are one of the select few that knows about it and believe they know the truth. And that's what makes them feel special and unique. Some people don't feel socially accepted and they feel like they don't belong anywhere in society. Conspiracy theories give them that sense of belonging in society. Some people may feel that evil is taking control over this world. And a conspiracy theory where people are fighting against evil forces in this world makes them feel secure. Some people don't believe in their government and believe that the government is out to get them or harm them in some way. So they may turn to conspiracy theories for evidence of this. If someone doesn't believe the Queen of England is a very nice person, they could very easily go onto Google and Google things like why isn't the Queen of England very nice or the Queen of England exposed? And they will probably come across hundreds of websites saying that the Queen of England is a shape-shifting reptile. She's part of the Illuminati or she's behind all of the evil things that are going on in this world. And before you know it, they found a blog or a website or even a community of people who are like-minded people who dislike the queen and they're talking about how evil she is. It's very, very easy to be sucked into the conspiracy theory world. There's so many conspiracy theories out there. Sometimes I find it difficult to sleep. So I just start Googling things because I don't like it when things are unexplained. That doesn't sit well with me. I feel like I need to know the truth or at least find out what actually happened. Unexplained events do not sit well with me. So I'm Googling, looking for the answers as to what happened. And before you know it, I've gone from conspiracy website to conspiracy website. Reading and watching videos on all their conspiracy theories out there. That's how easy it is to get sucked into the conspiracy world. And thanks to the internet, there is more information out there available to us now than there was 10 years ago. And there's new conspiracy theories popping up all the time. 
And once you start researching one conspiracy theory, you often end up finding yourself reading about something completely different than what you were looking for in the first place, which leads you on to another conspiracy theory, which then is tied into another conspiracy theory. That's how easy it is to find out about conspiracy theories in this day and age. I now want to hear from you guys and girls in the comment section down below. Do you believe in any conspiracy theories yourself? Which conspiracy theories do you believe in and why? Let me and others know in the comment section down below. If you've enjoyed this video and you want to see more content on conspiracy theories in the future, please give this video a like. If you're new here, and you've never been here before, please subscribe to Authentic Mental Health to join a community of like-minded people just like you who are struggling with their mental health. This is a safe and trusted place, trusted by thousands of people around the world. Thank you for watching. Take care guys and girls, and I'll see you all again in another video.